I'm Julie. My husband nearly missed our birth of our baby after three days of labor for our burrito. You're gonna go down backwards? Can mommy get up here with you? I'm Julie Brooks. Um, my husband is Ross Brooks, and we have a two year old, Ryder, Ryder Quinn. We had planned for um, an all natural, um, in the hospital though, an all natural birth. So we had talked to our OB, and she said she would honor whatever choices we wanted. He had different plans, however. So we were at 41 and a half weeks. Um, I was a week and a half overdue already, had done everything that we could eggplant, spicy foods, walking, all of those things to try to get him to move, and, and we're scheduled for an induction. So two days before I started, I actually started labor on my own. I was in labor for eight hours, got to where I was five minutes apart, called the OB. I actually had an appointment that morning, so we just went to the office, and in the parking garage I had a contraction. In the office, they stopped. So they hooked me up to the monitor, nothing, not, not a thing. So they sent me home. Um, I, at midnight, so into the morning, went into labor again for another eight hours, three minutes pop, and got to the hospital, and again, stopped completely. Eight hours stopped, eight hours stopped, 16 hours in the hospital. Finally, she said, let's, let's go ahead and take an epidural. I sleep. I sleep. <laughs> Ross finally, my husband, after you know two and a half days of this, said, I'm gonna go get a burrito. So he went out with his mom to get Mexican food, and I said, you can't leave, what if I have this baby? He said, we've been here for three days. So he went to, uh, to have dinner. In the meantime, my blood pressure crashed. They gave me more drugs of some kind, um, and by the time he returned, 45 minutes later, they were wheeling me in for a C-section. I mean, I'm fairly sarcastic, so Ross said I was cracking jokes like a stand-up comedian to the as they were doing the surgery. So, but I remember that. I remember her taking, you know, her taking the baby out, um, and then immediately giving it to Ross. And Ross and Ryder, Ryder had incredible focus and locked eyes with him immediately. So, we did not know that it was what the sex of the baby was, so we didn't find out. When she presented the baby and she said it was a boy, both of us were just so relieved that it would be over. We didn't actually care at that point. We were like, okay, great. And we hadn't settled on a boy's name to that point. And then she said, what's his name? And I just threw out in my state, um, Ryder Quinn. And Ross said at that point, after three days of labor, he wasn't arguing, so it was Ryder Quinn. Subscribe to Cafe Mom Studios on YouTube now.